Good morning everyone. It is Sunday. It is race day. So today is my hometown half marathon. It's the Redditch half marathon, which uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to for a while. But I must say, I went and did a recce of the course the other week and uh, it's very hilly. So uh, yeah, no PBs today. But um, yeah, I am currently walking up to the town centre to go and collect my race number um, and then hopefully have some time to do a bit of a warm up and get ready for the start. So yeah, ready to half marathon. I'll see you down at the start line. warm-up time just gonna uh, get maybe a mile or two into the legs get them warmed up and get ready for the race so uh, yeah I'll see you back down at the start village in a minute right mile and a half done for warm-up legs are feeling a little bit better now bit of a shake out um, so that's good Join us. Um, yeah pretty good atmosphere is pretty nice loads of people yeah should be a really good one so uh, yeah I'm gonna get ready finish off doing the stuff I need to and then um, yeah we'll get to the start see you at the start line good luck runners can I just give a big shout out to the Kingfisher Harriers yeah yeah sorry about that okay right so when do I go <laughs> some hills so far but the worst is yet to come <laughs> so 10 miles to go let's go yeah. oh, thank you. right just coming up to five miles Still here with Luke. Pick up. So, yeah, hills are a killer, but we're on 6.22 average. So, quicker than I wanted to, but we'll keep going. Let's go. Halfway. Um, this is where it gets really difficult. This long stretch uphill. Let's go. 
over two miles from the finish. So, let's go. Second to last hill coming up. Right, last hill coming up. Thank you. Oh man, I haven't stopped me watch yet. I do not know how I did that, but I think I've come in sub 122. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't believe it. I think I have, I don't know, we'll check the results in a minute. But, oh, wow. Running with Andy on YouTube, uh, Andy Maguire, please go and check, follow his channel. He's uh, documenting his running journey, putting out some amazing videos, some beautiful looking videos as well. His cinematography, next level. So uh, go check it out. Nice one, Brett. Cheers, mate.
Redditch half marathon done. I am buzzing right now. Um, I don't know how I managed to hit a PB on this course. It was horrendous. As you can probably tell, um, I didn't do a huge amount of filming during uh, the race because, yeah, it was tough. It was a really tough course. Um, but pushed it up the hills and, yeah, managed to uh, knock out that PB. Um, it's just, yeah, I'm yeah, just really happy at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to go home and, um, yeah, have a look at the Strava and see how we got on. But, um, yeah, let's go and get a coffee. Right, so home from the Redditch Half Marathon. What an amazing event. It was really, really good. Um, the organisation was really good. It was great atmosphere there. The only thing which uh, was a bit strange was it was supposed to be closed roads and there were so many times where cars were driving the other da way down the road um, or there was cars behind us, which was a bit strange. But I suppose there are um, road users who don't bother to pay attention to signs or can't be bothered um, to wait for um, an event that's happening. So that's nothing to do with the organisation. That's just people in general. But you get that anywhere, so never mind. But um, in general, what a great event. Yeah, really well put together. The atmosphere in the town centre was wicked. Um, uh, there was people all the way around the course, um, cheering us on outside the houses, on the corners. It, it was ace. So thank you so much to every single person that came out to uh, cheer us on um, and stand at the side of the course whilst we were racing. Uh, it was much appreciated. Uh, it gave us a little boost when we were feeling a bit tired and uh, low from those hills. Um, yeah, it was a mega hilly route. Um, I'm just looking at the Strava now, uh, and it said the elevation for um, the course, bearing in mind it's only a half marathon, was 1,060 foot, which is a huge elevation gain for um, a half marathon. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, to do as well as I did, I am so, so happy. Um, it started off really well. Um, I went out a bit fast, as I always do on a race. The adrenaline gets me and I get carried away with everybody. So I just went out and just did what felt okay in my legs at the start. Um, looking at the uh, mileage breakdown, I did that first mile in 6.03. So yeah, very quick first uh, mile, but that's all right. Um, the next few mile did slow down because obviously the hill started. The hill started from about mile two. Um, yeah, the elevation just went up from there. But um, second mile, 629. Third, 624. Uh, fourth, 620. Fifth, 630. And then in the sixth mile, um, I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, maybe the elevation did go down a bit there. Um, managed to 6.05, and then 6.12, 6.26, 6.30, and then my slowest mile was on the 10th mile, but that was that gradual slope, that hill that just went on forever, um, where it felt like forever. Um, but I managed to 6.36 in that, so really happy that I managed to keep uh, under seven minute miles on that um, slope, because yeah, it, it was a killer. But um, then mile 11, 6.09, uh, 6.08, um, and then Strava, as always with Strava, never gets the uh, distance right on uh, the GPS. It always cuts it short or makes it too long or whatever, but um, it has cut it short. So I've only got another uh, 0.95 of a mile on my um, Strava, but um, it says I did that last mile in 6.28, which um, 
I didn't, I forgot to stop my watch. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, as you probably saw in earlier in the video, yeah, I forgot to stop my watch straight away. I was so happy with the um, finish time I got that I completely forgot to stop my watch. Um, so yeah, my official time was um, one hour 21 and 45 seconds, which is a PB. Which I never thought I would ever be able to get anywhere close to my PB on that course with the hills and everything. I, I've been and run that route before and I, I thought there was no chance of getting anywhere close to my PB. So to beat it by, what is it, uh, 24 seconds, I'm really, really happy. Um, super super happy so yeah i'm i'm still buzzing from it to be honest um i've got to say thank you to luke um for running two-thirds of it with me it was really nice to share some effort um with someone else for once rather than having to just run my own race it was really good um having a little bit of back and forth on the hills and the downhills and having someone to share that effort with and then uh, thanks to Gav for dragging me up those last few hills coming back up into Webb Heath, that big long hill. Um, staying on his tail for that really helped drag me up there, so uh, thank you to both of those. But yeah, um, a PB, which is amazing, and fourth overall and second in my age group, fourth. That blows my mind, and I think, I'm not entirely sure, but looking at the results, I think I was the first um, Redditch resident um, over the finish line for the half as well. So, yeah, amazing. I'm really, really happy. So, yeah, can't say more than that. Um, onwards and upwards. So I have just entered another race. Um, on the off chance, my sister and my brother-in-law asked me if I wanted to go down to a gig in London on um, Saturday the 9th um, and they're staying over which means on Sunday the 10th I'll still be in London. So I have entered the ASICS London 10k which is closed roads in London going up and down Regent Street through Trafalgar Square and uh, going around Westminster and finishing uh, by Downing Street so that should be a, an ace one. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, let's see what I can do um, on a 10k which is pretty flat because obviously the two castles wasn't flat at all so hopefully the London one will be quite flat and we can see what I can actually do um, for a 10k so that's in two weeks time so yeah really looking forward to that um, but yeah thank you so much um, for watching to the end of the video um, everybody who's watching these videos, it really does mean a lot to me that you are um, clicking view and clicking like and subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't be making these if it wasn't to um, entertain you. So that, to know that people are enjoying the videos is awesome and I really, really appreciate your um, feedback. So if you have anything you want to say, anything you'd like me to um video any races you think I should do, uh, park runs you think I should go to, please leave it in the comments below. But yeah, uh, like this, give this video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, I will keep on making these videos. It's coffee time, I'm going to enjoy this coffee and I will see you next time. Cheers guys.